Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and today is day six of my 12 days of Christmas. I am featuring um, a different bundle from the Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog every day for 12 days in December, and today is day six where we are featuring Window Wishes. This is a really fun and unique set. Um, I really enjoyed playing with it. It has this great window, which I mean, you could use for any time of the year, not just Christmas. But today we're going to make this beautiful winter sunset background um, behind the window. I've actually stamped the sentiment on the inside. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is make our background. And I've got a little piece of watercolor paper. And I'm going to get Flirty Flamingo and Highland Heather. And I'm going to take my clear blocks and just stamp them there kind of to use as a little palette and I have my paper taped down to just some uh, chipboard that's going to kind of keep it from curling up too bad you know um, when it gets wet it kind of curls so I've got it all wet and I'm going to start with some flirty flamingo at the bottom and I'm just going to work my way up about halfway okay and then the more layers you add on, the darker it's gonna be at the bottom, which is what we want. So I'm just gonna kind of keep starting at the bottom moving up, okay? Now, once we've got that how we like it, then we're gonna flip it around and start with the Highland Heather. And we want it to be the darkest on the top. You can also squeeze the ink pad into the top of your, um, the ink into the top of your ink pad and use that as a palette. I find that this is just a little less messy. Um, if I'm in a hurry, I will do that. Now, as I get to the middle with these colors, I'm gonna continue to add them and blend them in as we go. The dark, the purple, the Highland Heather, is more like the darkness of the sky. You know, the sun is set where the pink is, and that um, purple is the night sky up at the top. All right, so I could go on and on and on for days doing this. I love doing this, and I never know when to stop. So I'm just gonna stop <laughs> now for the sake of the video. Wait, let's get that water that's puddled up. We'll use that up. All right, now move those out of the way. Here's my favorite thing to do when I'm watercoloring. I like to take some salt and I like to use the chunky salt, the big kosher salt, and sprinkle it on. This is gonna give us just some texture. You can see in my original card, there's just some of that texture right there. I think it just kind of adds a little more interest. Now, for the sake of the video, I've already done this ahead of time. So here it is. And let's see if I've got some grid paper here. I'll brush that stamp or that salt off and now we've got a really cool texture all right I'm going to peel this off and the, the piece is bigger than we need so I'm not going to worry too much about where the tape has covered it up okay so now we need to cut out our window frame and um, I have already taken a black piece of cardstock and taken our adhesive sheets and put two strips here. I like to leave a gap in between my adhesive sheets. It helps to peel it off. Um, if it's a solid sticker, it's kind of hard to get it started. And so if you leave that gap, it gives you a place to get started. So we're gonna cut that out. Let's grab those dies. You're gonna need both of these, this, this one and this one. It goes right in the middle. We're also gonna cut out the candles so let's stamp those. And we're gonna stamp just right there. Now this, this um, is Starry Sky ink. This die set has this really, really cool um, die right here that's gonna be the flames. I've already cut this piece out in gold foil. So you'll see it in just a second. Now let's get these cut out. I have cut some things out ahead of time, but I wanted to show you how to cut these windows because the first time you use it you might be a little bit confused so you want to lay them in together cut them at the same time okay because if you don't that 
black, the little one on the inside will only cut out the inside parts. It won't cut out the outside um, edge around it. So you need to use both of them, okay? So we've got that, there's that. And then in here, we've got the other piece right here. Okay, so we'll put those together in just a second. Let's cut out our candle. I think I got the wrong die, I did. I got the house die. We need the candle dies. I stamp that on basic white and starry sky. Okay, now before we can put this together, I'm gonna bring back over my watercolored piece and we're gonna emboss some of those tree silhouettes on here in black. All right, so I'm just gonna rub it with my embossing buddy that kind of hopefully will release any of the static that is there. We want these little granules to only stick to the stamped trees. All right, so I'm gonna do one like that and then one maybe over like this. I know you can't see them, but just wait. This is a clear ink. When you take the embossing powder and sprinkle it on, you will see those trees. There they are. Now your accessory kit comes with a paintbrush. Let me grab mine. Um, this paper is really textured and rough because of the um, water coloring and the salt that we added. So it's gonna take a little bit of extra help to get all those little granules out of where we don't want them, okay? So once you have that, grab your heat tool and heat it up. All right, I think we're ready to put it together. I forgot to mention that I actually cut out a second um, one of these. Um, I added an extra window pane here in the middle and you're gonna need that to do that. You don't have to do that, but um, that's what I did. So we're gonna take this and peel this off. And I'm gonna set this down on here like that. All right, so now take the inside piece. It's a little bit wobbly because it's so thin, so you kind of have to manipulate it a little bit to get it into the right position. All right, so now we've got our main window. Now I'm gonna take these pieces and cut them apart. Okay, and we're gonna take, let's take that adhesive off the back. And I'm gonna put one up the middle, matching that window pane right there. And then I'm gonna take the other one and go across the middle like that. And this one's gonna to be too long, so we're gonna to need to trim it like that. Okay, now you're gonna get your scissors and just go around the edge to cut this whole thing out. All right, once you have that cut out, get a four by five and a fourth inch piece of basic white. I've embossed it with um, the brick and mortar embossing folder, and I'm gonna put stamp and seal. I'm gonna put a good amount because this is nice and thick, and 
it, it's because it was wet, it's curled a little bit. We're gonna stick that right in the middle like that. All right, now let's look at our candles. Here's that little piece that I told you that we cut out of gold foil. And I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on the back, flip that over and get those little flames in place. Isn't that genius? I mean, that way you don't have to try to manipulate teeny tiny little pieces. I just think that that was really smart on the design part of these dies. All right, now get one dimensional and stick that right in the middle like that. Now I have cut out two branches and I think I left this off the supply list. Um, these are from the Christmas Banners dies. And I cut them from Old Olive. I'm gonna just kind of tear them in half, grab my glue. I tore them in half so that they wouldn't be so open. I kind of wanted them to be sticking together. And I'm gonna stick them in like that. Okay, because see if I put them in, I just felt like they were too far apart. So I'm just, I wanted them to be a little more overlapping. Not so wide. Stick that behind there. Oops, I went a little crazy with the glue. Hopefully we can cover that up. There we go. And then last but not least, I've got a gold bow cut with the same dies the window dies and we're going to glue that right in the middle now we've got to put it on a card base so a basic white card base and i'm going to grab my stamp and seal and mount that on here now i thought long and hard about how to put the sentiment here on the front and then i decided you know what we don't need the sentiment in the front we can stamp that in the inside so we will grab our memento and our stamp and just stamp that. Hopefully my glue sticks as it's upside down. May happy moments and wonderful memories be yours this season. It's a beautiful sentiment. And there you go, a lovely window wishes card now make sure you hop over to my blog if you're watching this on youtube i've got another window wishes project for you today and like i said at the beginning this is 12 days of christmas so i've got lots of projects for you make sure that you um, follow along during december and you'll have two new projects every day um, for 12 days all right everybody merry christmas Bye bye